tell us about your early subway trips when you were in the, when you were younger. You would taking you'd take a token for five cents to go to the city, and you went to Greenwich Village to some basement shop. Was the first thing you ever purchased? Do you remember well, that? Well, I love. I'm very curious. I think all, are all Virgos curious. Yes. Well, my curiosity is insane. And when I was a child, I wanted to know all about the city. And five cents bought you a lot. You could go from Astoria all through Manhattan for a nickel. So I, every Thursday afternoon, I decided I wouldn't go to school. And I'd, <laughs> I walked to the subway, and I'd go to a different area of town. I went to Chinatown, explored that went to Yorktown, went to, but my favorite part was, went to Harlem, was Greenwich Village. I loved the village. And those were really the great old days. And I'd go, I'd poke around all the shops, and I found one shop that I, oh, I was smitten. It was down in a basement, you know those houses with the uh, um, fire escapes on the outside? Mm -hmm. Well, he was down in the very basement. He was, uh, it was really, a junk shop to end all junk shops. And it was run by a little man, I remember. He was short, he wore a monocle, he had a frayed jacket, he had spats, and he was very, very sweet. He treated me like I was a mini duchess. I mean, he kissed my hand. You know, I was about 11 years old, I almost collapsed. <laughs> and I'd poke around, and he was fascinated with the fact that the kid was so interested in all this junk. But I endowed these objects with, I just glorified them. It was Aladdin's cave to me. And I fixed on a, on a brooch. Actually, it was an old button. It was about the size of a 25 cent, maybe a half a dollar. Remember those? <laughs> and it, 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 it was a, a brass gallery, very filigree, and it was studded with, uh, the old mine, you know, the pieces of glass, they looked like, I, I said they were mine cut diamonds. Anyway, it was just marvelous. I fell madly in love with it. And I used to go back every time I went to the village to visit it and hope it was still there. And it always was. And finally, I decided that I would save some money. And I came to Mr. Darris with the magnificent sum of 65 cents. And he wanted a dollar. And we haggled and haggled and haggled, and I finally got it. And I still have it to this day. Mm -hmm.